You want to start? Or you want me to? Hey guys, we're back. <laughs> Hey guys, happy Labor Day weekend. Kev and I are about to install this side panel window. What do you call it? Side bunk panel sliding door window. We're going to put it in our bedding area in the back to increase the ventilation with our Max Air vent fan that we installed the other episode. Um, but hopefully we'll get both of these in today. We do want to go to the beach and enjoy the weekend a little bit, so we're going to try and move fast but not mess anything up. So let's jump right into what tools we use to make this happen. All right, so the first thing you'll need is a magic marker to trace the cardboard cutout. Then once you have that in place, you're gonna be using probably an angle grinder. We use a really thin one to cut through the ribs of the window. And I'll explain why. And then once you have that, it's ready to make the cut with the metal in, with the jigsaw. We have a Bosch jigsaw and we use the T118A uh, thin metal uh, blades here. They have really small teeth. Extension cord. We also put painter's tape on the um, jigsaw so that it doesn't scratch the paint of the van. Yeah, and we'll tape the window on the outside too. We'll show you what that looks like. Um, for the window itself, you'll need a screwdriver. You could use a drill, but I'd rather not uh, overdo it or over tighten it, so hand tighten it. Um, a raw metal filer to ensure that the raw metal is smoothed out and ready to, for paint. Painting it of course to prevent rust and then um, we'll have to drill a hole into the window to get our jigsaw blade in there. And then we just have safety goggles of course, you don't want any metal shavings in your, in your eyes and then measuring tape to make sure everything is aligned properly. Measure twice, measure three times, cut once. So that is everything. We should be good to go. And coffee, of course, for Taylor. <laughs> Always. All right, so we have the side panel glass slider window. And the first thing we need to do is make a cardboard template of the shape of the van. So when we go into the van, we know exactly where to make our cut. So for the CRL window, you have the slider here, and if I flip it over to try and trace the outline, it's not going to lay flat because of that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a hole in the middle of the cardboard here so it lays flush, and then I want to trace it. All right, so now I trace my outline for the window and I'm ready to make my cut. I'm just gonna use a straight edge for the cut. All right, so we got our template here and this is what we're gonna use to draw our outline of the window in the van. We'll use that, but just to make sure that we know our measure, measurement is correct, just quickly taking a look at it from here. And it looks pretty good. And then I'm just going to try with this, just make sure it fits over it nicely. And it looks pretty snug. So that's good. And there's plenty, and then here is. But it's going to go inside the van like this and let's pretend the cardboard is the skin of the van and it's going to seal against it like this nice and tight all right first step we'll put down the plastic to prevent any metal shavings or try to prevent any metal shavings from dropping down into the cracks of the frame because uh, if they get wet they will rust over time um, so you want to be cautious about that and then we just sized up where our template's gonna be, and we drew our lines. All right, so you wanna make sure that you're not going through the skin of the van. So you're only gonna be, just make sure when you're cutting through the rib here, you're only cutting the rib and not the actual skin. It's a big, uh, you can do some serious damage there, so you gotta be careful. All 
All right, so I cut through the top here and the bottom, and there's a little bit of space here and here that's still connected, but it's pretty close to the skin of the van, so I don't really want to risk it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to slide a razor blade through, cut off the glue, and then hopefully pull this and kind of bend it and pry it off instead of risking cutting the skin. So that's what I'm doing now. All right, so now I have the glue off, I can wiggle it. I'm just gonna create, cut out a little section right here so I could bend it a little further. And then I'll hopefully be able to get through these two little bits here. That's the plan. So this time, I'm not gonna make the cutout. Uh, on my van, I do have some room. So I'm just gonna be very careful when I go right here. Really, really careful on both sides. And again, I'm gonna take the razor blade and cut it and pull it back before I finish this off. So just keep that in mind. So I put a slit through and was able to pull this off. And you can see the amount of glue that's stuck there. So. Pulling a razor blade through it gives you a little leverage when trying to pull it off. And then I'm gonna cut this or grind through that and I'll just pull this as I do it. You can see that there's a good amount of space or maybe you can see, I don't know, um, where I should be safe putting the grinder wheel there. So next I'm going to take a brand new razor blade and I'm just going to peel this off. Alright, so we put our cardboard template up. We are doing one inch from the top edge, which is right here. And that will give us enough space for our uh, for the rim that goes on the inside of the van to screw the window in. And I'll just show you what that looks like in a second. Um, and we got three and a half inches from there. So we should be pretty good. So with the template on place, you can see there's plenty of room. So, and there's plenty of room from the bottom too. So we should be pretty good when we seal that in. So next step in the process is to scroll two holes. And then we're gonna take this cardboard template out and uh, measure it up on the exact other side. And then we'll trace our outline and prep for the cut. All right, so I wrote on the top of the template here, inside top, so I know that this side is what goes on the inside, and then here I said outside top. Sorry for that vacuum noise, but uh, we just put the template on and we have the drill holes here. So that's going through. This is through now. Now I'm just gonna measure it up, make sure everything looks level, good from the eyes view, and then I'll trace it and we'll get ready to make our cut with the jigsaw. All right, so we traced it with the magic marker and we are gonna take the template off now and drill a hole in for the jigsaw blade and then start our cut. We did a measurement just to make sure that it's the same here, here, same here, here, and there. Uh, but now we're just going to tape this all up and then we'll stick the jigsaw through this big hole and start cutting. All right, so we have the perimeter of the window taped. Uh, pro tip, just 
tape the magnet that uh, your door sticks to because when we did the rear door windows, some of the metal shavings got stuck in the magnet and it was a pain in the butt to get them out. So we taped that up this time as a lesson learned and it's time to get the jigsaw and start cutting. So going around the turns, I think it's easier going up than down. So I'm gonna drill another hole from the bottom here. I put two strips of tape here. So when we get through the final cut, the window doesn't fall and scratch the, the side door. And we're just a little bit more protected. Just another uh, precautionary measure you can do. And this is why we taped it. Look at all the metal shavings here. So keep that in mind when you're cutting through either a side window or your back door window. It's likely that you'll get metal shavings here. All right, so now that we have our cut out, we're gonna take the metal filer and smooth out the edges. And then we'll paint it with Rust-Oleum paint and get ready to apply the window. do a quick test to see if the window fits in the part that we cut out. And she's in. You want it to be snug. <laughs> no, it's snug. Looks good. She is in. Alright, we're taking the paint. And we're going to paint the raw metal here. I think it's easier to paint with a foam brush than an actual brush. Alright, so we have the Rust-Oleum paint on the raw metal here. And it's almost dry. So next step is to clean the inside and the outside. Alright, so we'll do some glass cleaner, spray it on the outside, get all the dust out. And then... We'll apply the beetle tape. All right, so the next step here is to apply the beetle tape around the edge of the window. So Taylor's gonna start it. Um, so you see in some other videos that uh, some windows require a uh, piece of plywood fitting between the, the window and the lid, I guess you could call it. That goes on the inside to screw it to make sure it's really tight but for crl universal panel slider windows um, they recommended not to do that and just add a layer of beetle tape because they have i don't know if you could see it in here a little bit of rubber foam, foam cushion to help apply that seal so we're just going to go with the beetle tape here All right, Taylor's doing one more round of glass cleaner and then we have the butyl tape on the window and we're gonna stick it in and make sure it aligns right and then we'll screw it in from the backside. We used the Rust-Oleum paint on the sides and we cleaned off the outside of the van with the glass cleaner and we are ready to install. So next we're just gonna do a little bit of mist around because it helps the butyl tape stick to the window when we apply the window to the, door, the side of the van. Here we go. That is not mixed. All right, so we have the butyl tape on the window and here goes nothing. Good 
All right, so we got the window in place. We're now gonna add the lid to it from the inside. And we're gonna use these screws. I don't know if you can see them from CRL that came with the window. Uh, the two double holes is on the top of the window. I just remember that when you're adding it back on. All right, we are screwing this in. All right, so when we try to put the lid on, uh, we actually didn't cut low enough on the rib, so we just grab some pliers and bend it back, and then we'll bend it back up in place. Um, so that'll be fine. I might add a little bit more Rust-Oleum paint to it now since I squeezed it with the pliers. But other than that, we got the screws in. It's a nice tight seal. It looks really good. We have the slider and the screen, which is awesome. And then from the outside, looks pretty dang good and you could see the beetle tape starting to ooze out CRL was definitely right if we used a piece of plywood template uh, between it it would have been too much of a gap and we wouldn't have been able to secure it tightly enough so you don't need it and we just did one layer of beetle tape which was plenty all right it is the next day and we hose the windows down to check for leaks no leaks now Taylor is removing the excess butyl tape below or around the trim of the window and we are pretty much done with this job uh, I would recommend though if they make black butyl tape to get black instead of gray because you can still see it if you look and I don't particularly like that um, yeah you really got to do some fine-tuning to clean it up and make it flush but, but. overall Looks pretty good. From the inside. So if you have any questions on how to install the um, back panel windows, drop a comment below. And if you like this video, give us a nice thumbs up. And if you want to see more Van Build episodes, then subscribe to our channel because the next video that we're going to be doing is the sliding door uh, window. It's a CRL. T vent window and uh, yeah that's pretty much it thanks so much for watching and hope you got something out of it